And so, my fellow Americans, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your We are the last Americans. We are the last Americans. We are the last Americans. Ah, uh, yes, we are. Yes, we are the last Americans. Yeah. Not for long, though. Not for long. Not for long. I feel like the, the movement's coming back. America's coming back with a vengeance. Yeah. Or they're just oh. coming. You know what I'm saying? Because we're rad. You know what I mean? Coming back America, with vengeance. America. America. It's coming like a... Coming on your back coming, with vengeance. Coming on Is that what it is? <laughs> Something like that? Yeah. Anyways, hey. Uh, yes. Superman that uh, Jizz in the first... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Greg, what's up, dude? Oh, just uh, living the dream, dreaming the cream. All right. Ah. That's what it's doing, you that's know? It's like a... It's like Two references right yeah. off the bat, dude. In the first minute. Yeah. Comes and creams. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Hey, the cream always rises to the top. It does, you know? dude. It does. It does. <laughs> uh, happy beginning so, of the week, guys. Yeah. If you're listening, happy beginning of the week. Uh, yeah. If you're uh, you know new to the channel, make sure you follow, like, subscribe, share, hit that notification, all that stuff that uh, keeps you in track. And Patreon, sign up for Patreon. Do some cool stuff. We have the calling shows. Well, not only that, Zoom Dave, party. but I just noticed uh, you're wearing Hell one yes, of the latest shirts oh, that you just yeah. designed here. This is the Island Boys shirt here. Look God at this. Damn, that thing fucking hit hard. Can, <laughs> can you stand up and like show? Well, there we go. So we see uh, Island Boys. Jeffrey Epstein Island has his leg Boys. on. Uh, what's that guy's name? Stephen Hawking's wheelchair. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. They're the Island Boys, right? Yes, sir. But it's very Beavis and Butthead looking. It, oh, yeah. so it does. If you're not it, watching this, if you're just <laughs> listening to this on audio, yeah. very Beavis and Butthead characters. It's so. very 90s cartoon style. It is. You know it almost mm-hmm. reminds me of... No, I lost it. Well, is there any gonna... reference to The Last Americans on there, or is it just nah, Island Boys? No, nah. I was keeping that, I'm keeping that okay. off, dude. I, you know what? Here's the thing. I want to have no some No need to shirts. promote our stuff. No, it's not that. <laughs> I, I want to have some shirts that aren't slapped with all of our shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want it to be... Doesn't have to be slapped. Maybe well, just a little logo listen, man, here and there. It's cool, dude. I, I figure, I figure like some people don't know our show and they might like the shirt. You know, they don't mm. like. I don't know if I want to represent. I don't know the show. You know what I'm saying? So I'm trying yeah. to keep it a little open. But we have plenty of shirts online, Greg. Since you brought that up, we have plenty of shirts with yeah, our logo yeah. on there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and Chris wears them, and Greg, you wear them on occasion. So there's lots of options. There's stuff without our logo, stuff with our logo. You know what I mean? We're good. Yeah, the best way to get there is go to our Instagram, the Last Americans Podcast, and click yes, on our link. And we have a link tree that goes right to the Teespring option there. Yes, sir. Do we have them on YouTube too? They are uh, listed on, yes. the, bo- on yes. the bottom of our YouTube. Yes. On the bottom of YouTube, there's a YouTube couple of them on there. Yeah, uh, yeah, man. I, see, I listen. I like a lot of the shirts. Chris comes up with some really fun shirts, and uh, I try to. Some of them don't work out as much as I want them to, but you know what? We're trying to put out stuff. You know what I'm saying? See what sticks. See what doesn't stick. And uh, I actually really like the shirt. The, the shirt. This is my first time buying from Teespring in a long time. And this yeah, shirt is... The, the shirts are good quality. I, I think Th- it's... Hey, wait. Does it smell like vinegar, though? No. Because remember, they always have that weird kind of no, like... No, no. Hmm. And you know, I thought this Smells one clean. would because actually it was sent to Chris's house and I opened it here the last time on our call-in show. And uh, it, dude, it's really nice. It's really comfortable. The logo is probably our largest logo. Oh, yeah. Full shirt logo. It's like yeah. a full print on the front, which we don't have a lot of those That's like, awesome, full dude. print stuff. Uh, but I, yeah, I, I just like it. It's a fun shirt, dude. It's fun because a lot of people aren't going to get it. Some I like most the sleeveless. Will. Uh, what is that? The Eunice sweater or whatever that? What is that called? The Eunice sweater. It's like the the sweater without the hoodie. There. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. The crew yeah. necks, bro. Crew necks. Yes. Yeah, the old crew necks, man. I just I, I can't tough. wear. I like crew necks, but I'm too round. You know what I'm saying? Like mm. I, I come across like a like a fucking I don't know like a bowling ball. You know what I mean? When I wear those. Things. Oh yeah. Yeah. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. <laughs> it's Uncle Dave, baby. They crease under the boobs. You know what I mean? A little bit. Yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm probably yeah. getting the wrong size. Just to be honest. Maybe. With you. But anyways, guys, we have lots of topics to talk about, right? Yeah. Uh, I mean, the biggest thing that happened today was what King Charles cancer. Oh yeah, that's that is true. Yes, he he did. I mean, yeah. well, you know what that means. Prince Charles, or no, it's not Prince Charles. It's a uh, freaking what's his name, William. Prince William will become king soon. Ooh, and s- a lot of people have theorized that Prince William is the Antichrist. Oh, yeah, mm. no, like uh, Ground Zero, Clyde Lewis, Ryan Gable, the guy that I've had on Strange Dawn a couple times. They mm. all pretty much are convinced that Prince William is the Antichrist because he fits like so much of the criteria. Mm. Um, yeah, 
Yeah. Like, what do you mean? Like, how do you mean? Like, what's, Dude, what is the I'm criteria? I'm not an expert on this, so I don't know. What is the criteria know. for being antichrist? Yeah. Well, so that's the thing is I don't know. There's a lot of different people who are like, well, you have to have this, this, and this. And then you have being like the lineage of King David, I heard mm. is a must. Mm. And actually, there's some people that are trying to prove that Trump is in the lineage of King David, like actually part of his genealogy. Because there's a faction out there. Mm. I'm, I'm going to be doing a show on is Trump the Antichrist or something like that. Mm. I don't think so. But there's some weird freaking stuff out there that kind of fits the, the narrative as well. See, well, I, the definition of like the Antichrist would be like the devil, right? Not necessarily. No, not it necessarily. means false messiah. It's like false. It, it basically is you are trying to intent or yeah. you're trying to mimic Jesus Christ. Hmm. See, the one reason so why I don't think it is him, if you want my honest, because I don't know that much about it either. But what I do know, um, I feel like it's you somebody. You don't think it's Prince William or Trump? No, I don't think it's Prince William. Uh, Trump. Okay. The reason I don't think it's Prince William is I feel like with the Antichrist, it's somebody that like gets a lot of followers, is kind of like plays charismatic, in, charismatic. Like people love him. Yeah. He like, and uh, let's be real. Like, uh, is he really that charismatic? And people love him that much? I think they're forced to like him. Uh, but like, you could look Prince at William, a, a yeah. Trudeau, uh, like not now because people really don't like him. But in the beginning, uh, even like, Obama, dude, yeah. even Obama, right? That like he people did love him. Uh, they, they still do. They followed him. Uh, all those characteristics. Now Trump can fall in that same category as well. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But Dude, I, there's so much, there's so much with Trump that it's like, like, I don't want to believe that he's the antichrist, but there's so much that just is weird. Like, I don't, I don't think it's like antichrist realm, but there's a lot of numbers that add up around Trump that are weird. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, I don't know. Yep. We'll, we'll find out, but yeah, I, I don't look I, at the end of the day. Uh, I'm not talking about Antichrist or anything like that, because I feel like that's in the Bible. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, it's a thing that they, they talk about. Uh, as far as, like, the numbers, I just I just don't, I can't get into that stuff. Like, I don't buy I it. I don't believe it. Um, and I know a it's lot of hard do. for me. But, like, when you see a trend of the numbers, that's yeah. where I'm like, OK, there's there might be something to this. You know what I mean? I just feel like you like could, when like, it's like look, over and over again, you know, like right now, current viewers four, dude, right now, nine views chat. Four, well, we're on Patreon. Seventeen. I know, but my point is I can find a fuck. I can add numbers and oh. find anything I want at any point. You know what I'm saying? And that's where yeah. like I have a hard it's time. It's typically, it. well, it's typically between dates of significance where something happened. Mm -hmm. Like whether it's the first big C little V jib jab or whether it's yeah. something that happened over, you but know see, what I mean? Like so when it's you like, talk about the moons, right? Like the moon, like how that lines up, that to yeah. me is more believable, right? Because I do believe the moon yeah, uh, kind of, kind of the energy to that. I think there's something to that. I, I really do. Uh, so yeah. you're, you're kind of like infatuation with the moon is like intriguing to me because I do feel well, like it's, it's my infatuation with somebody's infatuation with the moon because well, these, yeah, these events yeah. fall on the moon. I don't know what happens. I, you know what I mean? I wasn't meaning that in a negative way. You, you've been more into it than either of us have. And, and the stuff that you brought to the table about it, I find very yeah. interesting because you know, the whole like full moon and people being crazy. Like it's fucking real, dude. When it's full moon, people do get crazy. Drunk drivers are out, bro. People are killing people. Like it's crazy. It's a fucking apocalypse yeah, on dude. the full moon. I think dude. it's a, I think it's the gravitational effects on the human brain. Uh, it, it could be. It's gotta be something. Like it slows like us water, down. You yeah. know like saying? we're all, we're low what? Like 90% water? I don't think that's true. Sure. Earth is 90? all water and it's, it's getting shaky by the moon. No, I actually looked at my, high. my I mean, daughter was looking that up the other day. Or she was asking, she's like, she's like, we're made of like 95% water. I'm like, I don't think that's true. And she's like, no, it is. And I was fighting with my teacher because she, her, her teacher's like, no, they're, we're like 60 something percent water. And so I looked it up just the other day and it, we're actually like only 60 to 70% water, depending on our body size and male. This female. says, yeah, it's around 60%. The yeah. percentage can vary from roughly 45 to 75%. Yeah. But don't you feel like through school? That's a huge variance. Well, because it, it, I want to yeah. see somebody that's 45% water and then see someone that's 75% well, water. They're probably like a, a chain smoker, very thin, and they're very wrinkly and a lot of skin. Uh, not a, It's like skin and bones. Okay, you know well, what I mean? Think of this, dude. Think of this. You're a five foot three woman. You got okay. some triple Ds. You got a lot okay. of water weight. You know what I'm saying? You got some water in those boobies. And so what I'm saying is. is that's not water in the boobs. Well, that, I'm just saying it's. it's <laughs> a, sometimes it's they, a, it's they look tissue. like water. It's you know? tissue. And so what I'm saying is, is like maybe. 
if you look at like certain body types and shit, like there will be more water in one compared to the other. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So that's, mm. I think that's why there's like a variance. I, I'm listen, I'm not a doctor. I'm making that shit up. I don't know if boobies have that much water, but I just think when you're looking at like body types, you can look around and like, I, I would imagine you're very thin, Greg. You know what I'm saying? So I would feel like you might have little less water, water weight. You know what Very I'm little water. But I'm, I'm a bigger guy. I might have some more water weight. Who knows? But I just feel like we were always told that we were mostly made of water. And then you see like 60%. You're like, well, what, what, what's going on here? Are you fucking. Well, I mean, there's a lot of flesh and like. Uh, <sighs> you know, okay. tissue. Okay. And, okay. Uh, well, can you be fluid? with uh your water weight like i feel can you I, be fluid i feel a little yes, less watery you today you know what i'm saying like like transition like oh you know, okay like I, yeah I, I, well I'm, like creatine yeah. you know you can take creatine supplements that'll help you retain water yeah. um mm-hmm. sometimes when women it's that time of the month they'll retain yeah. water weight you know what i mean so they'll feel a little bloated mm. yeah i don't know i just feel like it's a lie they don't really know that's what i feel like how do you okay. really how do you find out how much water really is in somebody? like really like just dehydrate them with a machine. There's got to be like a buoyancy test or something. I don't know. Like you put them in a bathtub. True. Okay. See see what happens. All right. So the dude has cancer. Yeah. I, I mean he's old. Apparently. He's really old. I right? feel like he probably should have had a sign with the way his his hands look. Mm. Right. Mm. Oh that, yeah. That was dude. probably his something. A sausages. sign of something. Who takes over? Prince William. That's what I'm telling you. Like, it's like it's fitting the sign of him to take over and become this antichrist figure. Mm. Is it lagging on your guys's end? Because it's really lagging over here. Yeah. It, well, the, the the YouTube stream is is lagging. Like, you're not lagging. For yeah, us. you're not lagging for me, but I think it's definitely lagging. I don't know what's going on. Like, I, the Internet on my end looks fine. I don't know what this okay. fucking OBS. So remember, I'm plugged in. I got no excuse over here. Nah. I, it, it, dude, it's just shit. I tell you, OBS, YouTube, one or the other. We'll have to keep. We'll keep going. I mean, there's nothing we can do about it. Yeah. So, um, well, yeah. So it's prostate cancer, I believe. Uh-huh. Um, actually, no. I'm seeing unspecified cancer. What? Like, why would they not, not know? tell you? Oh. Well, I mean. It, it, if he just found well, out, it maybe says, they're trying it says to figure right out. here, the unspecified cancer was discovered as doctors treated the monarch for an enlarged prostate just over a week ago. So it could be that. Then. So I was thinking prostate cancer, which but, is like. OK, well, here's the deal, though, because Chris's dad's going through it. We have some other people that we know has gone through it and they could have found it and they just don't know exactly where it is all yet. You know, like, has it spread to somewhere else? Is it in his glands? Is it in prostate or did it go to his lungs? Like, who knows? Like. Maybe they just don't know what level they're going to, you know, what it is so far. But yeah. Yeah. I don't know, man. I mean, I don't, I don't feel that weird about it. <laughs> like, I just don't really like him. I don't really like know that much about him. So, you know what I mean? I don't have a connection. Well, like, sad. wasn't it his father who was the king, like the previous king? I forget who that <sighs> was, but yeah, he did say that he wanted to die and come back as a virus. Oh. Oh yeah, and did. that was uh, yeah, right before the big C little V came out. So everybody's like, "Wait yeah. a second, did uh, he actually come back as the big C? What's up with this?" I mean, it, it, you know, it's sad. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, there's a pro- they- like a process to this whole thing. Like they, we know that, right? The, the way that the, it's all set up, like one goes down, another one takes over, and you know what I mean? Yeah. And it, you says Prince. I get him mixed up. William Henry William. William? Prince William, yeah. William. Yeah, but so Prince how, like, William. That's the thing, though. How Henry's is that out guy? of the royal family, yeah, bro. Yeah, they kicked him out. He's out of it. Yeah. Well, he's William the redheaded is, stepchild now. Oh, yeah. William, or Literally. Henry is the the one that's involved with Epstein, right? No. Or, uh, no, Henry no, is the Andrew. one that, that married yeah, the Andrew. chick. Yeah, Henry married the Andrew. Hollywood girl. Oh, yeah. So, okay. Yeah. Andrew is Charles' brother, mm-hmm. and Charles right now is the king. Right, because it used to be Queen Elizabeth, mm. and then oh, King yeah. Charles was her son, and now it's King Charles, and then you also had Prince Andrew, but he diddled some, you know, who Wouldn't knows it be what. Funny if they with... just bumped Prince Andrew in, like his oh. dying wish is just Prince Andrew to take over. Something. Oh yeah, he's king for a day, bro. Yeah, uh. dude, he just pardons himself and just moves on with his life. If William gets in, wow. right, if William gets the, I mean, he's, he's so much younger that like, that would be the next like 30 year fucking plus, you know what I'm saying? Of like ruling. Cause he's, he's, he's not that old. You know what I mean? 
He's just not that old. Mm-hmm. And like, obviously the Royal family tend to live a long time. Cause they got a pretty nice life. You know what I'm saying? Like they're kind of doing their shit. They got good well, food. Yeah. D- Chris, look up Prince Philip because this guy l- lived until he was 99 years old. Oh, this is the old and baggy He looks eyes. like freaking like yeah. walking death bag. He's like a crypt keeper, dude. There he is. Oh, oh yeah, that guy. Yeah, that is that is a high def picture, bro. Holy, look mackerel. at him. <laughs> that's mackerel. that's thirty five percent body weight <laughs> with water right there. <laughs> yeah, that might be true. He looks Maybe so less. sick, dude. Like his eyes are he so looks red. Evil as shit. That's the fucking devil. That's the he devil. looks like something you so? see in your nightmares. It's just like yeah, if you think like you wake up in the middle of the night and it's a dark room and you peek around the corner, like that's the guy they always talk about. He's wearing a funny old school hat. <laughs> And he's just got wrinkles. <laughs> exactly, dude. He's got his finger in your bum. He's just like, oh, well, yeah, so like, you. I just looked this up. Fact check on Snopes. Did for, did Prince Philip say he wanted to be reincarnated as a deadly virus? True. Okay. Mm. He said, this is a quote. In the event that I am reincarnated, I would like to return as a deadly virus to contribute something to solving overpopulation. He even talked about overpopulation. Hmm. So he wanted to kill people because he's depopulation and all that stuff. Damn, bro. He said it. Fucking crazy, bro. I know. You, you live a verified. life where you have... You don't a, have eyes like, like no. that and not be crazy. Or a smile. Well, this isn't... He kind of looks like... Oh, this uh, isn't the one that said that, though, right? <clears throat> Prince Philip, yeah, the crazy oh. looking one who lived oh. till he's He kind of looks like a wrinkly, a more, a more wrinkled Joe Biden. A little bit. Kind of. Yeah. More like a nutsack. You know what I mean? When did he die? A couple years ago, right? A couple uh, years back. Yeah, something like that. When did Prince Philip die? There was that one I where mean, he was riding in the... Uh, there was the one where he was like cruising in the car and he just... Oh, remember that shit? That's bad. Oh. But that's that's real bad, dude. Oh, dude, he yeah. died April 9th, 2021. Like okay, right yeah, in the years. middle of the... Oh my God, look at that. <laughs> Jeez, ain't lying, he looks dude. bad. The, the British teeth are something to be... In all of them. Yeah. It's more like the eyes. Don't they seem reptilian? Kind of. Uh, they just. If that was your grandpa, you're terrified of that man. Yeah, I'm not. not you know, uh, listen, I'm not necessarily <laughs> terrified. I just know the end is near. You that know guy, what I'm saying? That guy owns Halloween. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> yeah. That is, you know, it's, I guess that's part of the process, man. Williams has been waiting for this moment. You know that. Oh, right? yeah. Like, for sure. He, they've been like, you know how many years. Okay, here's the thing. Like, you have to have, we talked about this before. They have this, like, they have to, like, you know, shake all these hands. They have to be professional. They have to always look pres or not presidential, but uh, like a prince, you know, they have to, mm-hmm. and they've been doing it for years in, in anticipation to finally get, like, I know for a fact that they, they love their whatever, uh, but at the end of the day, they went like, fuck yes, about fucking time. Like, mm-hmm. that's what I'm thinking. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Prince waiting, Williams' they're wife they're is probably guy like, guy. yes. Yeah. I mean, think about this. You've been working your ass off at a job okay and you've been waiting for that promotion but you can't because the guy's in there you know what i'm saying and they come to you and say hey gabe bad news billy's got you know uh, a fucking he's gonna he's only got a week to live you know what i'm saying and you go oh my god i'm gonna get that job i'm gonna fucking get that fucking yeah job. but it's his dad so he's like he's happy that his dad's gonna die well clearly listen, they don't have much listen. of a relationship nowadays anyway right no they kicked him out no not him it's the other no, one. no that's oh. prince henry Kate oh Middleton. god that's I, the I right mix them up you're fucking like english uh it's, it, mine's not good they're either. all the fucking same do you really think that they have a great relationship with their father i mean i'm, I'm just being real like they're i can't imagine like the whole like father son you know that kind of thing is anywhere near like a normal human being you know what i'm saying like it, it kind of gets to a point where it's so elegant and so like procedural that like it's just like it's part of the pro like do you really love them you know what i mean like mm, i love him because yeah. he's my dad but like you're not that close like they don't hang out like i bet you they don't fucking hang out no they don't talk yeah. about chicks. i feel like no. anytime you watch i know it's their movies but i feel like it's, they're partly true where any kind of like super rich or yeah. fucking yeah. royalty or something like that like the family aspect of the whole thing yeah. is almost zero. Zero. Yeah, they're like sitting like ten miles yeah, apart yeah. at the dinner table. Yeah, they're just like there using a fork yeah. and a knife. They're just there because the they table. know they like, all are gonna have an opportunity to yeah. be that fucking person. And the son cries when he leaves. He's yeah. like, "I love you, Dad." And they're like, "Don't show emotion, son." <laughs> yeah. This Tell me business. about your new position, Christopher. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Still, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me they really love each other. 
Uh, yeah. That guy is fucking dancing naked right now going, I am the fucking king. I'm going to be the king. And he can say that, right? Like, because we say it like, I'm the I king of the, the bedroom. King, king of the castle. King yeah. of the castle. Ah. <laughs> yeah. He can really say it. He can really say it. No love loss. That's what I'm thinking. No. And maybe he knows his dad's evil. You know what I'm saying? I don't know anything about Williams. Okay. I, I, to be honest with you, I'm sure some people in the comments will say like, oh, he's done X, Y, and Z and this and that and that, whatever, you know? Um, I don't know much about him, but like, I'm sure there's some family that looks at their family and goes, that person's evil. You know what I'm saying? Like they are bad leaders. And uh, oh, probably maybe he thinks that he's a fucking terrible person. Like, do you just because they're in this family? Does that look at what? Look at the other son. Like, look at the fucking love loss there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I'm just saying just because your family doesn't mean you love them. You know what I'm saying? Like you love them to an extent. But I'm saying like, we don't know the fucking history. You know what I mean? No. Very true. No. Maybe he tried to, you know, get with uh, Kate. You know what I'm saying? Kate was in there. He's like, Kate, you look beautiful today. Uh -huh. Come this, sit on dad's lap. You want to try out these swollen fingers? Well, that's like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you ever been banged by a sausage? No. <laughs> and he's like, oh, my goodness. Your dad's uh, fingers. Why hey, are they so swollen? Hey, Kate, my, yeah. my fingers are uh, extra swollen today. Uh, uh, William, are you going to have that same disease as your dad does? <laughs> <laughs> I'm really hoping in 20 years that you, like as they're thick. as they're getting married, she's like, uh, yeah. is that genetic? <laughs> yeah, because that's the, they're going to well, sell that at Spencer's him, gift, bro. <laughs> oh, what she's like, you know, she was looking to the, the future. Yeah, looking to the future. She's yeah. like, I'm going to get some sausage yeah. finger. Yeah, she's like, I don't care that he's small. He's got huge fingers. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Okay. Well, that's that. Uh, yes, poor guy. I'm sure yeah, we'll find I mean, out. Prostate cancer. Does it, suck. it sucks. I, I, listen, I wish death on no one, right? Like, it's a scary thing. Uh, regardless of us making fun of them, it's a scary thing. And it's and it's like not something you want to see people go through, right? Because we're all going to deal with it. Uh, but at that same point, it's like some people you care more about because you know them and they're closer. I don't really, I just feel like they've had, he had a great life. I'm not saying it was a good life, but I'm saying that guy had all the shit he ever wanted. And obviously, just because he got diagnosed doesn't mean he's going to die. I think you, he, he's old, dude. Yeah, I but think he's probably, he's that. I, don't know. I think when they come out with a story like this, yeah, that like means it's already that known. He only, well, he only has a limited amount of time left. And they're talking about how Prince William is preparing for his roles and obligations yeah. are going to increase. He's mm -hmm. on his way over there because he mm -hmm. wants to be, you know, talk to his dad face to face. Because he wants to redecorate. So, I mean, there's all this stuff kind of going on that, I mean, listen, I, it's we, looking like the transition is going to happen soon. We have followers. We have family. You know what I'm saying? Your dad. Yeah. And technology is so good. And there's so many good ways to get beat cancer. You know what I'm saying? And it's really good. It's good that we're having people that are being successful beating cancer. But like if Joe Biden came out tomorrow and said he has cancer, there is not a person on earth that would think that that man's beating it. You know what I'm saying? Like there's a point where you're so like tired and old that like you just the fight's not there. Your body cannot fight it. You know what I'm saying? And so like that's how I view the the, the prince or the fucking king or whatever the fuck he is. Mm. So I don't know, man. Hey, hey, listen, I feel. Bad yeah, you know, he's he's. I don't know. I, that whole thing, like the royalty, it just doesn't make sense to me. You know what I mean? Like no yeah. one voted for this. They just have a shitload of money. They probably yeah. own like, don't they own all of Canada? You know what I mean? Well, that's yeah, they're, they're like, ruled by the the queen and stuff, right? I mean, that's, that's yeah. the, that's the ultimate power. Yeah. So it's like, why it. does Canada even have a president at this point? You know, like why Trudeau? What is, is he just like uh -huh. a, a face for the, <laughs> he's Probably. not really doing much. Do you think they killed him? Do you think they gave him something to give him cancer or do something? Is that possible? Yes. Because here's the deal. <laughs> they We talked about it months and months ago, right? How, how the, the royal family a lot of people is perceived a lot differently, thing. right? Like it's like it's down to like 30, 40% of the, the public actually looks at them as favorable anymore or mm. it used to be much, much higher. And do you think there's a possibility that they could say like he's now the king, right? He has been for a minute now. The numbers aren't going up. People are not liking him. They're over it. He's been there forever. Time to out him. Like if you put Williams in, right? Like he's much. You more keep favorable. saying Williams. William. It's William. I don't fucking know. I'm not British. I don't fucking know. I don't care. I, <laughs> he's probably got a clone. So there's. So have you ever had? Plural. Have you ever seen somebody like first name Williams? Uh, <laughs> like I don't Prince know. Williams. I feel like when you're wealthy, that that could be a possibility. Williams. Williams. 
Yeah, right. Sounds yeah. right. You need to get I some always say Quilliam. 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 William. Okay, I, I do you not think that he could be more favorable for the royal family, right? He's in running. People would actually. He's definitely in a better, back. a better light. Like he's been in, he's been in the spotlight more than the. And they the love rest his mom. Them. He's just younger, dude. They want young blood in there. You know I, what I mean? I like everybody's even, sick of old people running the countries, running you. the world. I and even, I mean, even though you have Trump coming in, he's just as old. But yeah. you know, I don't know if Trump's going to have like more than one term or whatnot. But nah. you know, yeah, I don't know. I feel like people want younger leaders. That's why Trudeau's where he's at. That's why Barack Obama got where he was. Mm. I think it's appealing for a minute. You know what I'm saying? I think when you see somebody young, you think that it's good. Now, the, the problem is, is like there, there's like no happy medium. Like it's either they're 88 or they're fucking 40. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. And you want you want to feel like a 50, 60 right now is Wasn't like a, 38 or something. The limit. Like 36. I don't, I don't remember the I exact. think you have to be a yeah. certain age to run for I think president. You have to be How old's Vivek? I think he's younger 35. than me, I thought. Yeah, I think he's 30. Hold on. I'll look, look it, up. it up. But my point is, is like you you want a leader with experience in some aspect, right? So if you had a president who's 50 or 60 years old, that's a pretty good age, right? Especially nowadays. That's like a prime age, man. That's your mm -hmm. you're at your heat. But like, why do we have to have 80 something? High 80s. You know what I'm saying? Low 80s. Yeah. And then we have like the young, like, because you're not all that confident in them either. At least 35 right. years old. 35. Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, Trump's going to be 78 by the time he gets yes. elected again. Yeah. He's going to. So, old. I mean, I get that. But he also, like, when you see him. He's alive and, and kicking. Here, like, he is not the same as that, as Biden, right? They're, they're similar in age and there's a huge difference. Huge. The problem is, is that it only takes, like, like when something happens, it happens fast. Oh, you know what I mean? True. Sure. sure. With old people. So, it's like. It could Trump. happen at any moment. You guys see that picture that was going around of him, of Biden talking to like the, the press. Oh, I thought Biden. you were going to talk about Elvis and Trump. Oh, split, he did post that picture too. That was weird. Hmm. Trump posted a picture of himself split with Elvis. And he's like, some people say I look the same. Okay. He's like, some people think I look like Elvis. We, we've been fucking wrong the whole time. We keep talking about JFK <laughs> Jr. and all this shit. And he, he's going to come out and be like, I am the king. I am the king. <laughs> yeah, fuck this guy. I'm the real king. Yeah. Baby. Uh, somebody said, uh, I hey, seen it on Twitter today, I was like, oh, is it interesting that he made a reference to the king and now the king is like, oh, uh, sure, sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude, I also saw a guy who was like queuing on blah, 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 like uh, Trump and Elvis were part of Q. Like, I'm just like, dude, this no. Elvis, no, like, come I'm on. just done with it. Mm. Yeah, what if he was, though. It would be fucking clear. If Trump was Elvis, he just breaks out with like jailhouse rock. And you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> Sounds just like <laughs> yeah. He starts giving his, his speech after he yeah. wins ele the election and he starts doing the, yeah. the lip thing. Oh. Yeah. The lip just goes up. <laughs> you can't control it. Fuck, dude. Give me your name. Give me your name. I used to grab a lot of pussy in the 60s. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the Beatles had nothing on my ass. Yeah. Uh, he's like, shit. that was the long time. That was back when I was Elvis and I did that. Yeah. Met this kid named Forrest Gump once. He was a great kid. <laughs> Uh, no, I, I don't, I don't, I, Trump does that stuff and I don't, I, I feel yeah. like it's good, like discussion material. I feel like he does it because he knows people are going to have a frenzy over it. Even mm -hmm. if there's nothing really to it, it's like, it's a feeding frenzy, right? Oh yeah. Uh, but mm -hmm. I don't know. I Maybe. guess it's more just random to me, but yeah, I mean, there's gotta be a secret code to it. You know what I mean? Sure. He did it for a reason because the anons out there got to know like they yeah. got to dig and it's like it's a it's an underlying meaning and it means something. Yeah. Uh, anyway, I'll send uh the, there was a picture of Biden going around when he was talking to the press and it looked like there was a diaper hanging out of his pants. Oh. Like it like it had rolled over the it's top a pull of his up. pants. Okay. Like he's wearing it a pants and it was like rolled over one side of his pants yeah. and everyone's like zoomed it in and like what the fuck is that? You know. Is it on Twitter? Uh maybe. <laughs> like I don't really want to see be, it. Dude. I don't really want to see it. Like I do, but I don't. You know what I mean? Because it's full of shit, right? It's completely full of it's shit. It's full probably. of shit, dude. Like it's not. Listen, it's not that crazy. Like to me, for oh yeah. shit. Okay, here I just saved it. Oh, did you? Oh, okay. okay. Uh, that looks like a face mask, bro. You think so? Yeah. Like a doubled up uh, face mask. The colors definitely have face mask uh, vibes. They also have like. Diaper vibes. <laughs> See, like, yeah. I don't know, but here's, the thing. here's the thing. Why would a face mask be right there, though? 
He put it in his pocket. It's hanging out. His yeah, pocket. he just put it somewhere down there and mm. it just fell out. I don't know. Here's the thing. I got to be real with you. Like, think of where his hip is, right? Where his pants would be. Yeah. They're not that fucking low. Come on. I, oh, like, and if it's full of shit. No. It's hanging low, dude. No. It's not going to hang over Look at his your face. pants. He's that shitting much. right now. Yeah. Well, he's angry because he already did. But <laughs> I, I got shit in my pants. That's not what it is, man. I, I, that's, I, I don't think that's what it is. No. No. Nah. You don't think it's a diaper? No. It's, I just don't think it's. When's the last time you seen him wearing a mask? It's not a mask. He wears masks. He just, I, wasn't he just wearing some gray? Am I wrong? I feel like he's been I, wearing masks around. I think around. he just, yeah. It's either his shirt that's untucked and there's something that's blue on top of it. I don't know what that could be, but yeah. I think it's a mask, but again, where is the pocket that the mask would be going in? This is just a weird location. There's no pocket there. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I, maybe I'm with Chris. It's a fucking diaper. <laughs> I mean, you know. <laughs> At least I, his hands aren't going through the microphones right now. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Like that one video back in the day. Like, I mean, listen, I think he wears a diaper. I, I, like, I, I'm not defending him. The man definitely wears a diaper. And if he doesn't on a regular basis, he definitely does on trips. You know what I'm saying? Like he, you know, there's certain people you're like, he's not going to make it two hours. Oh, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like on the helicopter ride ain't happening. So like he has used a diaper. There is no doubt. I just don't think that particular thing is. It doesn't well, add up. It looks like he had like just got back to the White House. So maybe he had just got off the helicopter. Mm-hmm. He would still have it on. I know, but like. Yeah, first it's like, of all, that was a long trip. I just got to, like, all, dangle it out. My, I got to air this thing out, dude. Have you ever seen uh, an adult wear a diaper? Have you ever seen what that looks like? Like uh, an adult wear, wearing a diaper? I've never experienced that uh, okay. firsthand. I have. Okay. And I can tell you they're very tight. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it's like a lot of them now look more like underwear than they do a diaper like our kids would have. And I just have a hard time believing that's drooping over, over his pants and all the way past his jacket. Like, that's a... Are you wearing like a quadruple X fucking diaper? Like that's you know a what I'm lot saying? of shit, bro. He's got a lot of poop. <laughs> He's in full him. of a lot of shit. Unless it blew out his pocket. That mm. would be the only thing. Like it kind of just ripped yeah, the I fucking seams. Mm. Mm. Who knows? I just thought that was funny. It's icky though. Like it's really gross, man. Like there's it, all- it makes like why do they put these pictures out there that make us challenge know. these these questions? It's like what <laughs> what is that? And Joe it's Biden? all the like, time. We don't give a shit about what's coming out of his mouth. We care about what is what is coming out of your pants. It's kind of gross. I feel like there's pictures like that all the time. You're just all yeah. Like every week, you're like, what the fuck's going on right here? Yeah, it gets to the point where you say something, like even to my wife, I'm like, look what, do you see what Joe Biden did? And she's like, I don't even care. I don't even want to talk about it. Like every day it's like, <laughs> if he's not bumbling, he's like falling or he's fucking diapers hanging out. Like, I don't know. It is what it is, man. Like there's just no way people can vote for him, right? Like there just can't, there can't be. There are still but Fetterman dumpy. came out and said, you you know, he was talking about it. Because remember I, I was said, Fetterman said a few things that seemed, you know, against the grain. Uh, but he came out and basically said, like, if you vote for Trump, you're a moron. I mean, for in different words. Mm. Uh, mm-hmm. So, you know, it's, listen, you can't win them all, you know? Yeah, I think uh, it's going to be, it's going to be very interesting. Yeah, There's man. a lot of people predicting that, yeah, I mean, it could be like 80, 90% votes for Trump. He ain't making it. Oh, Biden ain't making I feel it? Like, I feel like Biden's going to drop out after the great eclipse. The Great Eclipse. I feel like the yeah, when is April eighth. Oh, the Great American Eclipse. You guys are going to be right in the trajectory yeah, there. I, I, you guys oh, are going to really? be able to see yeah. it. Yeah. Oh. yeah, it'll be it'll be around our neck of the woods. Okay. Yeah. April eighth. Uh, sure. I mean, like I like I said earlier, I, I, the moon stuff is interesting. Um, I think he's just going to die. Mm. I think he's going to die. And I, you know what? I will say this, just to backtrack my own prediction a little bit and give you some some credit here. There is a slim chance to me that like if he goes all the way up to like a month or two before the election cycle and dies, Mm -hmm. they have to have somebody that's going to guarantee or at least hopefully get the same amount of votes immediately because there's no no room to campaign anymore. Yeah. And no one else is that great. If he dies within a couple months of the the actual vote, then I definitely think Mike Obama is going to jump in. Well, we're oh. we're already a couple months already. We're less than twelve months. Uh, yeah, I'm not. Uh, well, twelve is not a couple, Greg. I'm, <laughs> I'm talking about like if it's like two months before the vote, right? Right, campaign's done. 
Everything's so now done. you're admitting that Michelle, if it's no, like, listen, a big Mike like might come sep- out swinging? If no, September comes around and Biden's gone. I, all I'm saying is this. That is the one area that I feel like could be the one. Because I don't <clears> think <throat> she's going to run. I don't. I think that there's it's too good for them. You know what I'm saying? They, they're doing their mischievous shit outside of the scope. I think the heat, the, the, like the heat lamps are on them. You know what I'm saying? In a lot of ways. I don't think they want to get back in right now. And I, I bet you they control more than we know already yeah. but i'm well, saying and if, then if also he, oh, dude so like if you give them that little of time it doesn't allow for a lot of investigations and stories to brew up you know what i mean yes. like it's like oh we got a month yes uh, what are we gonna do like this is it this is the time yes. like you have a week or so to like really dig in and kind of like come out with all this shit but if you go past the october surprise is that what the, if it's like is that mid-October? the october surprise Oh, is Michelle is Michael Obama the October? Surprise? I don't really buy into the October surprise that much. I just think if he dies, it relatively. I mean, it, it, October surprises have happened like the last two elections at least I that mean, I've paid attention what, to. What, what is an, uh, Here's the deal: the, with October surprise, like what makes it the October surprise? You know what I'm saying? Because every month of the year, we could there's something that happens in that month that we could claim to be the surprise of the month. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So to me, well, it's, it's like just, well, damning lately. evidence that comes out that's supposed to sway the election. Like in 2020, it was the, it was the um, Hunter Biden laptop mm-hmm. that got swept under the rug and then so many accounts got pulled off. That's when we got pulled off YouTube because mm-hmm. we were talking about Joe or, or uh, Hunter Biden's laptop. Yeah. And then um, in 2016, it was like, I don't know if it was the grabbing by the pussy, but it was Hillary Clinton's emails. email emails. scandal. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that whole thing blew up like weeks before the election, like s- several days. You know what I mean? Like Comey came out again. He's like, uh, we're going to drop the investigation okay. into her because. Yeah, I do. I hear you. But when's the election? Right. What's the, what's the November, day of the election? November 5th. OK, right. So what's right before November 5th, October? Right. And what's the final push like that? Uh, to me, it's not that shocking. Like you're you're campaigning. You have one last couple bit of weeks to make that final fucking oomph to get those votes. So like to have like these big things popping out, it's like, to me, it's not some like mystery thing. You know what I'm saying? Like it is part of the process. Like we're going to see that shit. It's not, it's not crazy to me. What if the October surprise, what if she, what if it's Michelle Obama is running just before that, like September and the October surprise is she reveals that big old dick swinging. Oh, okay. (sighs) Yeah, I'm a tranny. Vote for Surprise! me. Surprise! She helicopters it on the stage. Okay. I don't know. Sponsored by Viagra. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Something like that. Yeah. I don't know if that wins her. <laughs> uh, you know what? Listen. Yeah, that would so, probably scare off a lot of voters. It would scare off a lot of voters, bro. <laughs> like, I don't know what I'm voting for. Uh, like, what what are is happening today? here? But uh, what I'm saying hey, is, if he goes, yeah, yeah, if he yeah. goes, like, they need somebody quick that's going to, like, bring the bring the vote in quickly. And there is no one. That's the problem. It, and so it makes sense that in a situation where it's a month before or two months before, she would definitely be able to come in and people know her, recognize her. Mm-hmm. And, and, like, you put a Gavin Newsom as a VP. Like, if they just rush it in, <clears throat> like, that brings in votes. Well, let me, let me ask you this. This whole, like, change of batter thing, right? That's a conversation. Right in the uh, conspiracy realm, that there's going to be a change of batter. Yeah, and uh, everybody basically assumes, switching Biden out for somebody else. Right. Everybody assumes it's Biden, but what if it's actually Trump? Could be. And it's instead of you know having Trump run, it would be Nikki Haley has to replace him. Mm. I, I, and I, then I, that's yeah. where I'm saying, like, when you'd get into the write in ballot where Trump's the write in candidate, you know what I mean? Mm. I just like, I, I struggle with the whole Nikki Haley conspiracy, honestly. I really She's going to stick around for a while. Well, of course she well, is. Well, she has. And she the has reason why she she's sticking around, and I, I mean, Dave Smith even admitted this, is because if Trump gets indicted or arrested and he gets pulled off the ballot, mm-hmm. she will be there to run, S- scoop up everything. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. I, I, I like he, there is that chance, but I just like we've already seen like, first of all, we've already looked this up like you can run. Like, can't you still run if you're you're convicted? You, there's no rules against it as far as I've, I've heard or seen. I don't know, man. I, listen, I, I understand the whole thing, but I don't know. I don't know, man. I, he, he was talking the other day about Tim Scott. Mm-hmm. 
I don't know if you saw that where they were asking about the whole VP thing. And he's like, well, I made a call to Tim Scott and he'd be a great president. You know what I'm saying? He'd be a great man to take control, you know? So it's almost like he's planning on like, what if he's not around or what if something happens and somebody else has to take over? Uh, but I just can't get on the Nikki. Hill. Like, I just don't, I don't think anybody likes her at no, all. No. So like, but that's, no one likes but that's her. the point. No. It's not about what people exactly. like. It's, it's someone that they have control of. Can swoop yep. in and take everything. Can take yeah. what? If Trump was gone. And take what? Would He'd take lose? all those? Huh? Would lose? Just handedly? <laughs> Pretty much. She would lose handedly. Yeah, that's she, the point. She'd be, she'd be the only one left to nominate. Yeah, but she would lose on purpose. Listen, you understand how finite that is, right? You'd understand like the, the timeline that would have to take place. Oh, would yeah. would be so finite. But the thing is, is like if some reason he's indicted, and there's time left, you know what I'm saying? Which maybe is the case. Like you still have other people. You still have Vivek. You still well, have and DeSantis. You have other people that would jump but right they have, back in. Why would can they, they not? Can they jump back in after they already Dude, announced they just, they're dropping out? All they out? did was they dropped out and they decided not to take any more money. I don't know. But I don't know if that's a thing. Like once you drop out, can you just... But see, that's the thing is like you still have a write-in option. So you can start this write-in campaign where mm. literally... The slogan would be write in Trump. It's always sure. three words. Yeah. It always has to be three words. Write in Trump. Yeah. Except for uh, MAGA. And you don't think That's his supporters would? I mean, come on. Like, uh, as rabid as they are, they absolutely would. Would like, write in Trump? Yes. They're not going to oh, vote yeah. for Nikki Haley, bro. Yeah. And she literally doesn't. The only reason her numbers were decent, and I mean decent, was because the Democrats just voted for her. They, I mean, how many interviews did you see where they're like, so you're a registered Democrat. You switch over. You voted for, and they're like, you know, would you vote for her if she actually won the not? They're like, no, I'd vote for the Democrat. Like, it is a whole scheme. That's why oh, yeah. that state was in New Hampshire. It's it's. We've been talking about that for a while too. Where that is like, it doesn't prove anything on her behalf. You know what I'm saying? Like, she had a ton of people that will never vote for her. Vote for her. That's why you saw those numbers. So I just, yeah, I just don't think people like her at all. And they don't. Somebody would. Jump I mean, in. Trump hired her back in the day, but. Well, here's the thing. How can I you think say he fired her too, didn't he? if, if Biden yeah. dies and we are having that discussion about uh, Big Mike jumping in the race and taking over? And that's a discussion that's not even if he dies. People are still saying well, Big yeah. Mike can jump in. You're telling me that he can jump in, but like somebody else can't jump in if Trump goes down? Like, that's not the case. Like, somebody will jump in that is not Trump. If, if Trump is arrested, right? And that's that's well, how see, that's the thing is like there are no other Democrats running, Biden is unopposed. You know, they're not even having a DNC like but what's, uh, national well, convention. But what does that have to do with with Trump? Haley is running. I She's understand so there is another race. person running. right. I now. understand that there is. But what I'm saying is, is if one can jump in in a party, regardless of it's unopposed or not, like they're jumping into a party without campaigning. That's what it comes down to. She wasn't in New Hampshire. She yeah. was not in Iowa. You know what I'm saying? And if so, what if Tim no, Scott I or what? If, I, I, yeah, I see where you're coming from. Abbott or you name it, um, right? Like they jump in. Yeah, I, I, I mean, what do you do? You'd have yeah. to like just throw somebody in, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, sorry, guys. I, I definitely know we're having some streaming issues right now. It is what it is, man. I, I apologize. You guys have a storm coming your way? No, no it's, it's actually fucking nice. It's gonna be seventy fucking like sixty degrees tomorrow. It's sunny. It's actually nice out. It's no storm. I, it's just YouTube or or OBS, one of the two, man. Like it. Mm. When you got data running back and forth, it's bound to happen. So sorry, dudes. Apologize. Uh, but anyways, yeah. Uh, what else we got? What else we got? Oh, prediction. Do you want to just do make a prediction on that? Oh. Are we still set? I don't remember what the original prediction was for the big mic. For so her. for like Joe Biden going out, because I feel like Joe Biden will like kick the bucket or he will drop out. Okay. Right? Yeah. I What, what I feel like is going to happen, this is very specific, okay? Oh, okay, shit. Okay, I'm down. <laughs> I feel like <laughs> the last great American solar eclipse Okay. Biden had Harris step in because he had a colonoscopy on that day. Okay. Yeah. And the reason why he had that is because this goes back to ancient times when you had the Babylonian substitute of the king ritual. Okay. Where you'd have the king for the day. Remember, that's where the term king for a day comes from is mm -hmm. they would pick a, some random Joe Schmo and be like, hey, you're the king for the day. Okay. And that's what when a solar eclipse happens. They thought that it was a bad omen. And so that king for a day 
would absorb the bad aim or the bad omen energy from the solar eclipse and they would kill him. Mm. And then the king would come back from underground and he would come back after the eclipse was passed. Right. Mm. Joe Biden did that on the last great American solar or not great American, but he did that on the last solar eclipse. He handed down, um, what's it called? Uh, power, I guess. Yeah. To Kamala Harris. He's not going to do it this time. I feel like he'll go out and do what Trump did and stare right at the eclipse, which means that's the bad juju going right into him. And then he's going to die soon after that. Hmm. Very so, specific kind that of. That is real. <laughs> Are they going to show him looking at the eclipse? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Is gonna he, he going to walk out it. and go, look at this thing. Oh. Yeah. He'll be <laughs> cool because, go, I mean, fuck. could you see him? He would do that, right? <laughs> yeah, he would. I, I think mean, he's Trump so cataract it, right? and like he has all that shit in his eye. He's just like, yeah, it's beautiful. This is right? like sunglasses yeah. built into I'm going to be there eye. someday. <laughs> uh, that's very specific, man. I, I give you props for thinking that through. Uh, I, that's I bet not he, bad. I, I, I don't hate that. I'm going to bet that he, he doesn't die. Okay. I, I think uh, he gets removed. You think he gets removed? Okay. Because Trump said uh, back in the day when he was at the Alamo. Mm. Oh, Whatever he did say amendment, that, yeah. what was it? The fifteenth amendment, the twenty fifth amendment. amendment. Yeah, mm. he's like, it's not going to impact me, but Joe Biden's going to have to worry about it. Blah blah blah. It's going to come back and bite him. I see. The reason that I have a hard time with that theory is like, why would they not have done that already? You know what I'm saying? Like, all the signs are there, the numbers are down. Like, he's really struggling. to interfere with the election. It'll fuck up his campaign. It'll fuck up the. It'll be the excuse that they have to bring in somebody else, Big Mike. But you don't see right. them doing that, really? Like, no. Well, it's it'll like be an just like surprise, just bro. like you said before. It'll give them, if they do it later, it'll give it won't give time to bring up shit to you know use against them. Mm. Or it'll just give uh, whoever has mm. to replace Biden like a short campaign, and they're like, oh, I got to come up with all these uh, talking points, and I just you know what I mean. It, yeah. it would make them frantic because they have so much to prepare for in such yeah. little time. So, like, Big Mike's would say, Big Mike for president. You know me. <laughs> like, that's all she says. Like, you know who I am. I don't need No, her slogan would be, come out swing. Oh, okay. See you, You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, that's not, uh, come up <laughs> swing. Come up. Come up, motherfucker. God, <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> Jesus, criminy. Uh, Maybe. Yeah, dude, listen, I don't know. I just have this feeling that he's going to die. I feel like it's been a long time since the president has died in in presidency, and I feel yeah. like it's due, dude. Yeah, and, and not I, only that, but like Ford, President Gerald Ford yeah, called it, yeah, right way back when. And yeah. Gerald Ford, remember, he was a thirty third degree Freemason. Uh, he said that the, the how the first woman president is going to come to be is that you'd have a man and a woman. Yeah. Woman would be VP. The man will die, and then the VP will uh, yeah. resume the or assume the position. I, the I think position. they're going like, to set Kamala. something up. I think oh, like yeah. was the, 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 the presidential woman, right? helicopter, the stairs. They're going to build like a little, a little metal plate Chop that stair. no, it just like pops oh. up and just shoots him down the stairs, breaking neck. I think the thing is, is like if he dies, like if he was to pass away in presidency, it's the best case scenario for them, right? Mm -hmm. Because then there is no discussion of like, oh, they removed him. Well, he, but I mean, they dies, might they might gain some points from the public if they if they removed him. No, I don't. I don't. Oh, they would gain points if he died, bro. Yeah, they would gain a what? lot because they would. Then people. You don't would, think people that are that are either on the fence or jumping ship right now, they wouldn't gain points from all those people if they finally admitted there's something wrong and then we need to. Take yeah, but here's care the, of them. No, here's no, the no, thing: no. you don't think they would, no. they'd be like, okay, let, no. I mean, we'll get on board. with no. what you got next. I don't think if he business. gets removed, then he did something wrong. That's what the public. Or would think. he's yeah. incapacitated and is unable to unfit to do the job that's what the 25th but see they, they but you you just get all these people that would you know what i'm saying like the thing is is like there's no one else that's that's to me that's the problem <clears throat> well right? see chris no one's been talking you, about it if yeah. you uh take them out doing that method then you have somebody to point to and blame you'd be like why did you let him lead this country for so long like they would lie you'd you'd have to like yeah. look up and be like okay who are we to blame here like is there a physician we can blame yeah. like how long have we known this prognosis? Like, how long True. has he been kind of cuckoo? It's you know not what just I mean? that. It's the media, right? Like, the public would say, wait, so he was so bad that you guys removed him. 
But the yeah. media has been saying how great his economics are, how great the border is. So it would, it would, it would be like a, a, a kind of chopping the head off of everything because everybody knew that he was bad, so bad that they had to remove him. Mm-hmm. But if he dies, mm-hmm. they can run a memorial. Oh, Joe Biden, if, yeah. if we could have had four more years, the economy would have been amazing. And no one knows, right? They're, Dude, I mean, it's the know. John McCain tr- yes, treatment, you know yes, what I mean? It like, it's the look at John flag, McCain. A fucking wrinkly flag that's going to be over that casket, dude. It's going to be creased right? all up, full of fucking Obama's cum. Full of well, Parmesan everywhere. Yeah, it's going to look like a fucking hard sock. <laughs> Who had the crinkled uh, flag on their casket? Was it John McCain? John, well, a lot of them did. McCain did and... Um, uh, uh, Oh, uh, the fucking what's his name? The fu- no, the, the George one. Bush Senior Burger Cheeseburger Man. She had oh Ruth Bacon. Ruth Bacon had. I think, had it, I think she had a wrinkled flag. I, I think they all did. Honestly, I think they all did. I don't know. But Can see, you- I want to see someone who's actually revered. Like when Trump dies, mm. I actually want to see if there's a fucking smooth flag because I maybe yeah. they just don't smooth that fucking flag out. Dude. Yeah, they, maybe they, the iron because it's like how many <laughs> how many of these people just him? have wrinkled flags? Fucking Hunter Biden comes up to the casket and he's just like dad. <laughs> <laughs> He the line. He snorts, he's line doing coke snorts off, the off the white. Like the, the he's fu- got it prepared on the yeah. white part of the yep. flag, so you can't see it. Yeah. Like, are you crazy? He's like, yeah. he's he sits up and he's just white on the face. Yeah. Like, oh, the dye from the like, flag is on my face. Okay. Hold on, I gotta count every star yeah. real close. Oh god, yeah. you get one last blow in with your dad. You know what I'm saying? These colors oh, yeah, do dude. run. <laughs> well, he does crack, right? Yes, dude. Yeah, actually, yeah. Because he'd get that nosebleed, he had that red, mm. white, and his eyes would turn blue. You know, you know. All yeah, I gotta dude. say is, thank God Joe Biden's not our king. Because could you imagine like Ooh. Hunter fucking Biden as our king? Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Woo! Or Jill being the fucking oh. queen, dude. Wow. Uh, well, I mean, the good thing is, is like the, the the royal family likes little boys jumping out of their windows and shit. You know what I'm saying? And, mm. You know. Mm, yeah. For that sitcom that they recorded. And they like incestual <laughs> shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like the royal blood is a little incestual. Like a little mm, maybe. Keeping the family. But see, like, for incestual blood, they live for a long time, dude. I mean, 99. That's, Prince Philip. That's uh, I that's think true. that's what, yeah, I think that's what uh, Biden wanted. He's like, Haley, come on, we're <laughs> Daddy, Daddy oh needs God. to live to okay. 99. Okay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, let's take a shower. Oh, oh God. God damn, it's gross. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, listen. Where'd that journal go, Haley? Could be more fucked up. Yeah, that's absolutely true. Like, there's certain things that are pretty fucked up in this world. So, at least our system's partially working. You know what I mean? Like, and, and I mean very minimally, but it's hmm. partially working to some extent. What do you guys think about uh, the shit that could happen with Tucker over in Russia right now? Mm, yeah. So, what is he planning on doing? Interviewing Putin? The, for ru- the rumor is he's just doing an interview with him. Like, But what does he plan to gain out of it? I think dialogue, bro. I think here's it. Me and Chris were talking about it before the show and like the positive thing to it is, listen, have we really heard Putin? You know what I'm saying? Like throughout this whole thing, have we really, has there been a sit down? Well, yeah. Discussion? NBC, ABC, Fox News, they all report on it. Exactly. But yeah. the, he hasn't spoke freely. And Tucker's got a fucking reach like no other dude. He does. And Tucker asked the right questions. Okay. So yeah. uh, to Chris's point, what he was saying, which I agree with very much so is that and I was bringing it up, right? Like, we haven't heard from him since the whole Ukraine shit. We haven't heard his side. We've heard a lot of Zelensky. Yeah. And, uh, and, and but we haven't heard the rest. So, like, I'm curious what questions are going to come out, what he says about America or leadership, uh, what he well, says let me about say the this. war. L- let me ask you this. What do you say uh, if people just come back and go, Putin's a liar? Of course he's going to say this. I don't he's give a, a shit. fucking slumbag liar. Don't care. The whole point is, is I want to hear both sides of the story. I don't care if you don't like what he says. But, like, mm-hmm. we've heard Zelensky's sob story numerous times. And I, I'm certainly not saying that Ukraine hasn't had death. I'm certainly not saying that citizens haven't died. I'm sure that they have. And, uh, but here's the thing. We also know that country's very corrupt. And we know that money's missing, and he's asking for more and more and more and more. Yeah. And so we have all heard yeah. it. He's been in our fucking White House. You know what I'm saying? He's been he's Dude, spoken he spoke to, to Congress. Congress. Yeah. Right? Like, That's... he spoke in the chamber. You know what I'm saying? And so, mm-hmm. and the flag was up. Like, We've heard it. I've heard your side, and I want to hear Putin's side. I'm not saying I agree, but yeah. I need to hear what he has to say about this. Whole and thing. what better person to interview him? Yeah, and it could shed some light. He could, say, like, to Chris's point, what I was trying to get at was he could say things that we have no idea is actually happening, and like Tucker will air it. You know what oh, I'm saying? Yeah. So what if he comes out and he's like, "You don't even know the half of this shit." 
You don't even know the half of this shit. You may hate me, but guess what? It has proof. What if he has proof of shit? And so far from what I've seen on, on X, at least, like, Tucker's been pretty well accepted over there as an American. Like, I guess there was yeah. a restaurant. Yeah, because he's a, a freaking Putin puppet. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's well, like there's always yeah, a, they're always going to go there. F- you know what I mean? There's always yeah. a way to flip the fucking story. And that's what I hate is like, no matter what truth might come out of Putin's mouth, mm-hmm. if anything, they're always going to spin it as not truth, which yeah, the mainstream will make will. a certain amount of people just automatically believe that, right? Absolutely. They'll be like, True. oh, well, of course Absolutely. you're going to say it's a fucking lie. But, yeah, that's, that's going to make me believe it. Tucker is going to ha- have his fucking video. Like, and it's going to be on X. That's where his shit goes now. And that that's what is going to be the source. So, yeah. I mean, like the mainstream media could take that video and try to spin it however they want. But people can, people can always go to the source very easily. Mm-hmm. It's not Do you think the bio lab that. stuff's going to come up again? No. <sighs> Who knows? You don't? No, don't Who knows? So. I do. I feel like that's what Tucker's going to ask him about. Be like, what provoked this war? Like, what, what are you talking about? Denazification. What did you really mean? Uh, right there. I, yeah. Like, uh, yeah. Yeah. Weaponized weapons, well, the, from, or weaponized uh, biological I want, warfare. I want more juice than that. To be honest with you, I want more juice. Yes, I want to see him pull out. I want to see him do a Trump right where he, the lady says the question of why did you not respond on January six faster, and he goes, well, actually, and he pulls out the paper and reads mm. the tweets in order. I want to see Putin come out and say, well, listen, this is what your president is doing. I actually have documents showing that uh, Biden was actually funneling money, or blah 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 blah. I want to see like that kind of shit because I, to your point, Greg, I think it's going to be very easy for people to say that Putin's a nut job and that everything he's saying is a lie. But Putin also has, I think he does have things on us. Like, oh, yeah. I, you know what I'm saying? There's a reason we haven't got involved in this well, war. Uh, him and China are exactly. our buddy, buddy. Right so now. if he pulls out some documentation that shows that there's some corruption here that we can't deny, that's really damning. Dude. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, the, um, in the embassy, Right. The Russian, whatever this embassy was, I forget the name of it, but it was yeah. like this United Nations embassy thing yeah. where like they take turns of the country, like leading the discussion. You had Russia pull out documentation showing lists and lists and lists of biological warfare mm-hmm. that was coming out of Ukraine. You know what I mean? And so it's like, why would he not like throw those out there? Be like, look at all these documents. Look at all these all right. pictures. Like, I have photos let's, let's of the labs wager. that we investigated. Let's put a wager, and all that shit. A wager on what? On like what? What do you think? What he's going to discuss? What he's going to discuss? I, I, I feel like it's going to be about, one thing, dude. No, I'm just saying. Like, listen, I know it's not going to be one thing, but there's going to be that big thing. I, I think there is. And so you know you, what he's going to ask? What was there anything in that soccer ball that you handed Trump Ooh, oh, way back when? You think he'll say that? No, no, he won't no. talk about that shit. I feel like the majority of it's going to be on war. I, it's hard to understand if like, if he's over there doing the interview or if he's already done the interview, because there are just people on, on X that are posting like supposedly script of like what they have said, mm. but I don't know how they would have gotten that. Mm. I, don't I, I don't know if I, is he going to go so. interview Kim Jong-un next? <laughs> Who knows? I, don't know. I mean, if you can go over and interview Putin, you're, you can pretty much get to anybody, right? Well, I think Putin's more than happy to speak to the right people. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't think that, like, I don't, he's been here. I mean, he was in the White House, you know, talking with fucking yeah. Trump. I mean, he, he, it's not like he does it. It's like some North Korean, you know, fucking just hunkers down and no one sees him. Like, he speaks. It's just like he doesn't, I don't think that that guy wants to speak to mainstream media platforms. They're going to try to tear him apart, dude. Mm-hmm. You know, I think Tucker will probably give him some actually hard questions or not. Maybe he doesn't. Maybe it's a big fucking, uh, I don't think he holds back. Uh, we'll see, man. I don't, I, I've seen Tucker do both. I think he can ask serious questions and stuff, but I also could see them like having some vodka and like, Really get like in a in a podcast. Oh format. yeah, Sit come around. outside, ride my bear with yes. me. Ride yes. my bear. You see Tucker shirtless on a bear. Oh yeah, he, and then he just you hear him in the back <laughs> yeah. doing his fucking oh, laugh, yeah. his cackle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. I listen. I, there, I who knows? I just think that like it, it would be nice to see him drop a bomb, not literal bomb, but like uh like. I have proof of shit and you guys don't know the half of what's going on in this world. Oh right yeah. I think there's going definitely going to be some crazy information. Well, so Chris, you were saying the other day, like a couple of shows ago that you think that 2024 is going to be a year like no other, like disclosure, good disclosure. Like this is going to be a good thing. 
So what do you think, think that so. he could disclose? I think it's going to be numerous things, honestly. I think it's going to, he's going to give, like Dave was saying, another side to the story. Like mm. maybe like our whole thought process and the way we look at Russia, like he could give a different take on like what happens behind the scenes that the general public don't see mm. or even hear about for that matter. He could, he's going to give, how about like, he's going to give her get different take on the Ukraine thing. He's yeah. going to give a different take on all kinds of shit. How about like, how do you fortify your elections to make sure that they're not, uh, the R word, the big R word, mm. you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I don't know. cause Putin's been in office for what decades, long uh, time, quite a while. Yeah. Man. Yeah, it's so a while. it's like, do you guys cheat in your elections over here, Russia? Yeah. Well, yeah, that'd be a good, that'd be a good thing to know right is is are the people actually voting for him or is he like the dictator part and he's just taking it because like, he's honestly they're communist we, still right russia's mm, still communist uh, they're I communist i don't think i don't know i yes yes they are yeah. aren't they i don't think yeah so, man are they yeah russia is a communist nation same thing with china same thing with north korea i, I, I mean you USSR broke up, but I mean, it became Russia. It's still kind of yeah, I don't socialist know. communist. I don't know, man. I'm not real sure on that one, dude. To be honest with you. I mean, I get, I get, I don't know. Who knows? Yeah, we, we could look that up. I mean, well, honestly, the, the propaganda in our country is just as bad as anywhere else. So they yeah. can tell us whatever the fuck they want. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just want to see like a, a situation at the end of the day where like he's speaking freely and it gets aired. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because, like, everything we've seen of Putin, and I'm not saying he's a good guy or a bad guy or anything in between. I'm just saying everything we've seen from that guy has been edited or sent over from somewhere else. And yeah. it would be nice to have real flowing questions, real responses, and see what kind of happens on the fly and see it unedited. Because yeah. I feel like that's yeah. what Tucker will offer is a... And he's not going to ask, like, so what do you, do you think you'll win the war against you? It's like, you know, those basic bitch questions yeah. that the fucking media is going to like ask or try to swindle him into something. Tucker is good at like making fun questions that also have meaningful impact. Yeah. Where he's like laughing and with them. And they'll him. provide good answers. Yes. Yes. And so that, that's, I think that's the perk of a Tucker situation is that like, it, it could be an interesting interview for sure. No, I, I think this is going to be very interesting, whatever this brings, but I, don't think it's going to be the cherry on top of the year. You, you bigger, bigger than this, huh? I think so. I, have I a, just want I have to see how like, like short Putin really is next to Tucker Carlson. Mm. You know what uh -huh. I mean? Because I heard Putin's not that tall. Mm. But hey, yeah, I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, I looked it up and it said Russia quit being a communist country in 1991. December so they're 21. socialists, though. I mean, it's still like heavily socialist over there. I I don't know. I mean, I've never been there. I you know we we know very little about. Yeah, Russia I've never point, really so. talked to a Russian person. I feel like that. Yeah, we can look it up though. I yeah, mean. we should we should find out. I just feel like, especially with Russia, dude, like you're gonna hear the worst things about Russia, right? Like you will. Yeah. I'm not saying it's a good country. I'm just saying like you're everything you look up is gonna be like, of course they're a fucking dictatorship. You know what I mean? Like I don't actually know. I do know when people interviewed people in Russia. And again, that's an interview. Who knows? Uh, you know, people seem to support Putin. They, you know, they didn't like that they were fighting Ukraine because a lot of relatives are in Ukraine, but they were also like, Ukraine's a bunch of assholes. You know, so like, yeah, it's like a mixed bag. I, I, I just don't know. Like, I, I don't know. It's a, it's not a great looking country. It's kind of ugly. You know, it's a lot of gray. Uh, yeah, it, it's true that we can't really believe anything that we've been told about Russia. Yes. Or any true. other country for that matter. I mean, they're saying that Ukraine is like this holy fucking land pretty much, right? Yeah. 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 Just like the new bill they just put up the border bill included. Mm. It was like 120 or 180 or whatever billion dollar bill and 60 of it goes to Ukraine. Yeah. A significant chunk went to Israel too. Yeah. There's so, like 40, yeah, 40 billion went to Israel. 60 billion went to Ukraine. Mm -hmm. It says Russia is categorized as a consolidated authoritarian regime. So whatever the fuck. Okay, that so that's that's a fucking communist party. <laughs> that's what somebody said. That's what somebody mm. said in this category. That's the freedomhouse.org that, mm. that labeled them that. So who knows? Who knows? But it should be a yeah. fun interview. I think the interview is going to be good. I, I do too. Hell man. yeah! I'm I very very much am excited to hear what he has to say. 
I, I want the other side of the story, dude. I do too. And then maybe we can make a real judgment about like where everything stands, man. Yeah. 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 He's like, Zelensky wears the pants. No, no. <laughs> he wears adult diapers. I know yes. he does. <laughs> I know he does. Yes. It would be, it'd be weird doing an interview with him, though. I wonder, does he speak English? I don't think so, bro. Not very much. So if he, he does, it's, it's not much. Yeah, at all. that'd be a weird thing to do. But they'll translate. Just have an well, interpreter. Yeah. All right, dudes. Fun episode. Right, sorry, yeah. Sorry for the glitching and stuff. But hey, you know what? It was fun. Yeah, it and if fun. it was glitch, sorry, Patreon members for the glitching. Uh, yeah. It should be a smooth video tomorrow on uh, YouTube when absolutely. it gets posted for everybody else. Thank you guys for your support. I don't have a drink, but uh, I'll put my smooth. fist up for you guys. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Go cheers, check out everybody. The shirt, bro. Yeah, go buy the shirt. Later, dudes. See you, man.